All right, so we're going to take a look here at Launch in Logic for the first time. And to do that, I'm going to jump into my application folder with Command Shift A. Applications, now in, applications, window, column view, browser. And then I'm just going to do first letter navigation to jump to Logic. Launch with Logic Pro 10 app, application. There we go. And now I'm just going to do Command Down Arrow to launch it. Open selection. Logic Pro 10, essential sounds download, dialog, essential sounds download. Thank you for downloading Logic Pro 10 from the Mac App Store. Logic Pro 10 is currently downloading an essential collection of sounds and loops. This may take up to an hour with a typical broadband connection. While downloading, you can learn more about Logic Pro 10 by clicking one of the icons below. 0 KB of 1.63 gigabytes. Thank you for downloading Logic Pro 10 from the Mac App Store. All right, and as you see, it's just downloading a collection of essential sounds. These are the very basic uh, sound packs and libraries that it needs to operate. Once this is done, it will give you an opportunity to download the remainder of the free sounds that it comes with. Logic comes with about 50 gigs of free sounds. You download about a gig of them as part of the essential sounds, and then the rest will be downloaded later if you want to download the additional sounds. I usually like to go ahead and download all the sounds up front just to get that out of the way. Logic Pro 10 is currently downloading an essential collection of sounds and loops. This may take up to an hour with a typical broadband connection. In, in my experience, it never actually takes that long. So let's continue to explore the rest of this window. While downloading, you can learn more about Logic Pro 10 by clicking one of the icons below. I am new to Logic Pro, button. I have used Logic Pro before, button. And I believe both of these windows are gonna open a web page with Safari on the Apple website that tells you more about Logic. 193.7 megabytes of 1.63 gigabytes, about 10 minutes. Let's see what else is in this window. Download later button. And you have the download later button if you don't want to finish downloading those now. But I'm going to let this finish downloading and then once this is done, we'll pick up from there and proceed with the rest of setting up Logic. Application, window, password, secure edit text has keyboard focus. Now it's prompting us for the password to go ahead and install those sounds. So I'm just going to type in my uh, Mac password here. Logic Pro 10, essential sounds download, dialog. And now it's installing the essential sounds. Download later, dim button, installing. And once this is done, it will prompt us to go ahead and install the additional sounds, which it will do. And now we can start setting up logic with uh, changing some preferences and installing the key commands file. Application, alert, system dialog. Logic Pro 10 app would like to access the microphone. To enable audio input for recording in Logic Pro 10, click OK, recommended. You can also enable audio input later in system preferences greater than security and privacy. Logic Pro 10 app would like to access the microphone. Now starting with Mojave and later, you're gonna have to allow it to access the microphone here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click OK. OK button. Feel space on that. Press OK button. Logic Pro 10, image, abort, button, download later, button, dim, scanning audio units finalized 1 of 29, more sounds available, you can download additional sounds, instruments and loops by choosing Logic Pro 10 greater than sound library greater than open sound library manager, then selecting the items to download. Alright, so let's take a look at this dialog here. Download more sounds, default, button. Alright, so that's one option. Download more sounds, default, download later, button. Download more sounds, default, button. Alright, so I'm going to go download more sounds, so I'm going to video space on this. Pre sound library manager, dialog. Sound Library Manager. And I want to install everything, so I'm just going to jump to the end of this window with VO End and see if there's an option for Enable All. Install, Dim Default, Button, Cancel, Button, Select All Uninstall, Button. So I'm just using VO Left Arrow to move back through this window now, and there's a Select All. Press Deselect All, Button. And as you see, when you press Select All, it changes to Deselect All. Cancel, Button, Deselect All, Button. So I'm going to VO Right. Cancel, Install, Default, and Button. And hit Install. Web content. What's new in Logic Pro 10 10.4.7? What's new in Logic Pro 10 10.4.7? And this little what's new thing will give you some of the new features. Uh, this is Logic 10.4.7. That's the latest version as of this recording. Continue. Default button. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit continue here. Press choose default button. Choose a project. Create an empty project. So... We're on the screen where we can create an empty project, but before we do any of this, I'm going to make some changes in the preferences and install the key commands file. So I'm just going to close this window with Command W. Logic Pro 10, dialog. And we're still installing the additional sounds in the background. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit Command, comma, to open preferences. Preferences, dialog, preferences, startup app. And I just paused it there with the control key. So I'm gonna to jump to the top of this window to the toolbar. So I'm just gonna hit VO home. Toolbar. Interact with that. In toolbar. Six items. General. Selected. Button. 
and I'm going to press view and to jump to the end of this because the advanced is the last option in this toolbar. Advanced button. There we go. VO space to select advanced. Press advanced button. And now I'm going to stop interacting with the toolbar. Out of toolbar. And let's see what our options are in this dialog here. Show advanced tools. Uncheck. Checkbox. So we want to enable show advanced tools. Check. Show advanced tools. Checkbox. And now if we jump to the bottom of this window, we should have an enable all option, I believe. So I'm going to jump to the bottom with VO end. Enable all button. There we go. VO space on that. Press enable all. Dim button. And now we have all of the advanced options enabled. And now when we jump back to the top and interact with toolbar, you'll see there are more options there. Before there are only six uh, tabs in the toolbar, but you'll see there's a lot more now. Toolbar. So we're back at the top. We're gonna interact with the toolbar. In toolbar, 11 items, general button. And there you see it's 11 items now, instead of six. So now we're looking for display. Audio, but recording, button, MIDI, button, display, button. There we go, display. I'm gonna VO space on that to select it. Press display, button. Stop interacting with the toolbar. Auto toolbar. And let's go explore this window. We're looking for the mixer tab, I believe. General, selected, tab, tracks, tab, two, mixer, tab, three of four. Mixer, there we go, VO space to select. Press mixer, selected, tab, three of four. Editors, tab, four of four, plugin window. Open plugin window on insertion, check, checkbox. Open in controls view, uncheck, checkbox. And that's the one we want to change, open in controls view. So controls view is the view where most plugins are going to be their most accessible. If you're using certain isotope plugins, uh, you may want to switch back to the Coco audio view. And if you're a complete control user, you may not want to turn this on because this means that your complete control plugin is going to open in controls view. And there are over a thousand parameters in the complete control window. So that can take some time to load. So if you're a heavy complete control user, you may not want to turn this on. But if you're not really much of a complete control user, go ahead and turn this on because this will save you a step when you launch most plugins. Because when you launch a lot of plugins, you're going to have to go to that view menu and switch it to controls view in order to be able to use them um, accessibly. So I'm going to enable this with VO space. Check. Open in controls view. Checkbox. And that's pretty much it for the stuff that we have to change out of the box to make logic at its most accessible. So I'm going to close this window with command W. Additional sound library files. And you see we're still installing the additional sound library files here. So while this is going on, I'm going to install the keyboard ninja key commands file so that we can have access to an expanded list of key commands to make using logic from the keyboard a bit more accessible for us. So I'm going to launch Safari with right option S because that's the keyboard commander that's set up for Safari. Safari, favorites, window, toolbar. And I'm going to type in the web address as logic.band. So I'm just going to do command L. Open location. And type it in. L. Cprohel.com. And. and logic.band. Insertion at end of text. HTTPS. Slash slash. Logic Band, tips and tricks for Logic and Garage Band keyboard ninjas and voiceover warriors, web content. So I'm going to full screen this window. Enter full screen, space with Safari containing window Logic Band, tips and tricks for Logic and Garage Band keyboard ninjas and voiceover warriors, full screen space. So I'm going to interact with this and I'm going to navigate through the menus on the website to find the download link for the key commands file. Visit it, link, skip to content, banner, visit it, link, Logic Band, M dash, tips and tricks, top menu, navigation, current page, visit it, link, home, menu pop up collapse, link, Logic button. Link, logic basics and glossary, link, getting started with lock, link, frequently encountered scenarios in lock, visited, link, key commands list. That's the key commands list. I strongly recommend reading the key commands list to get an idea of what things are mapped to. And there are some workflow tips in there as well to advise you on how best to utilize some of the key commands in this file. All right, so the next option down should be the key commands file. Link, logic keyboard ninja key commands file. There we go, so I'm gonna video space on this. Press link, logic keyboard, https colon slash slash, logic dot band slash logic band dot zip, https colon slash slash, logic dot band slash logic band dot zip. So I'm gonna jump over to the end of this window where there should be an allow button or something like that. Allow, toggle button. There we go, video space to select that. Logic band, tips and tricks for logic and garage band keyboard ninjas and voiceover warriors, web content. All right, and now that's downloaded, so I'm going to quit Safari with Command Q. Finder, desktop, desktop, empty, group. And now I'm going to do Command Option L to jump to my downloads folder. Downloads, list one item selected. Logic K and Logics, Logic Key Commands. And there we go. That one is what we want. I'm going to move off it and back on just to make sure it's selected. SW, Logic K and Logics, Logic Key Commands. 
All right, so I'm going to copy that with Command C. Copy Logic K and Logix. And I'm going to place this in the key command folder that Logic usually looks in for key command file, just to make our lives a little bit easier. So to get there, I'm going to press V O Shift H to jump to my home folder. Home list one item selected. Aurea C folder. And now I'm going to start typing M U for music to get to the music folder inside my home folder. M music folder. There we go. And now I'm looking for the audio apps folder. So I'm going to hit right arrow to go into that folder. Audio hijack group. One of audio music apps folder. Audio music apps. That's what I'm looking for. And in here should be a key commands folder. So right arrow to enter this folder. Custom icons group. One of five. And I'm just going to do K. -E. There folder. we go. Key commands. And I'm going to paste it in that folder with command V. Paste item. So if I hit right arrow to go into this folder now. Logic K and Logix group. One of one. And there you see, we have that file inside that folder. And the reason I copied it into that folder is that now when I go into logic and import the key command file, it's going to look in this folder by default. So all I have to do is just select this file. I don't have to navigate to my downloads folder or anything like that first. All right. So let's switch back over to logic. So I'm going to command tab back to logic. Logic Pro 10. Logic Pro 10. Additional sound library files. And you see still installing the additional sound library. So I'm just going to hit option K and that's the key command to open the key commands file uh, dialog. Key commands, US dialog. Key commands, US. Keyboard. Key. Touch bar. Button. Late. And I just paused that with control. So if I navigate through this window. Key commands, US. You see that we're using the US key commands by default. Key commands action menu. Choose, copy, import, and save key command sets. Expand and collapse key command groups. And reset all keyboard shortcut assignments. Menu button. All right, key commands action menu. This is what we're looking for. I'm going to view space on this and we'll have an import option on this list. Menu, 12 items. Presets, submit, import key commands, ellipsis. There we go, import key commands. Logic Pro 10 busy. Close, open, dialog. And we're in the folder we want, the key commands folder. So I'm just going to VOJ to jump into that folder. In sidebar, table, no selection, favorites, row one of 27, expanded three, in column view, browser, users, group, four of four, column one of six users, group, four of four, quick nav on. Quick nav off. Plug in settings. Group. Four of key commands. Group. See, three of key five. Key commands. I'm just going to write error into that. Logic K and Logics. Group. One of one. There we go. Logic Keyboard Ninja file. Hit return. Key command. Key commands action menu. Choose. Copy. Import. And save key command sets. Expand. So now if I VO left error once. Key commands. Logic K N. You'll see that we're using the Logic K N. So I'm going to go back to that key commands action menu. So I'm going to VO right error once. Key commands action menu. Choose. Copy. Import. And save key command sets. Ex and so if I view space on this menu, 12 item presets, sub menu, you see presets. Now this sub menu has all the default key commands plus the ones you import. So if I go in here, presets, sub menu, nine items, Spanish, bullet pro tool, German, French, Japanese, US, US is the default. So for everyone, I switch back to default key map. I can just come in here and select US, Swedish, Italian. Check mark, Logic KN. And you see Logic KN is selected. So I'm going to leave it on that, but you can come in here and switch key maps because all your key maps show up in this preset sub menu. So you can switch back to the US default or any other key map you're previously using by coming into this dialog and changing it there. All right, so I'm going to hit escape to get out of this. Closing menu, closing menu, key commands action menu, choose, copy, import. And, and now I'm going to go to the key commands table because I want to show you a little cool trick about this. So I'm going to navigate into that table with VOJ. In table, no selection, command, global commands, expanded 497 items in closed level one, column one, row one. And I'm going to make sure quick nav's off here. Quick nav on. Quick nav off. Okay, quick nav's off. So the nice thing about this is if I hit a key, it will tell me what that key does. So if I press R. Marquee tool start, level two. Record. You see R can either be the marquee tool or record, and I believe record is going to take precedent, so you don't really have to worry about it triggering the marquee tool. Once again, if I hit space, player stop and go to last locate position start. You see what that's assigned to. If you hit S, toggle channel strip solo start. All right. If you hit the down arrow, select next track start. Select previous track start. So if you don't remember what a key does, you can open key command with option K, VOJ to jump into this table, and then just hit different keys, and it will jump immediately to what they are now because it does that if you try to hit command w to close this window close window you see it just tells you that command w is closed window so you have to actually stop interacting with this table, table. and jump to the top of this window with vo home close button and vo space on that close button additional sound library files all right so we got logic started up we installed the essential sounds we're installing the additional sounds we got the preferences changed and we got the key commands installed. 
So now we're ready to start using logic and we're gonna dive into that next.